hello guys welcome back to tech dose and in this video we will see what is perspective transformation and we will code it in our python id okay if you have not yet subscribed to our channel then please do so in order to watch more programming videos so let us get started let us first look at the theory part and then we will come to coding if you want to skip this theory then please skip it directly to the coding part so what is this perspective transformation if we take a camera then if we capture a scenery then the camera which produces an image also contains the property that if the image is farther away from the lens then the image will look smaller and if it is closer to the lens then it will look larger okay so this is how we can define perspective transformation and in order to do perspective transformation we need four points in a fin transformation we needed three points here we need four points and no three points can be collinear okay so if we have these four points and let's say we join them then these in no three points are collinear okay this is let's say in 3d okay i cannot draw in 3d i'm not good at drawing so let us assume that this is in 3d and if we convert it to 2d then how will it look like i want to make it like this okay so how can it be done it can be done using perspective transformation if we give in the input what all points should be selected and in the output what all be the corresponding points in the output okay suppose this is a b c and d then what all points we need in it in output a dash b dash c dash and d dash okay so these all points you want to make in the output in your cropping software or when we crop this affin uh, this perspective transformation is applied okay there we select the points and we convert it to any shape we want so selecting points is the key here okay so let us see the coding part i have already included the libraries and the next thing which i will do is i will read the image using cv2.im read and i will read the same image as i had read it in the affin transformation table.jpg okay so i will have to store the rows columns and channels of the image using image.shape and the next thing we need is we need to define four points on the input image and the corresponding four points on the output image okay so that will be of the type np.float32 bits and let us take the points as 56 comma 65 this is our first point in the input image 368 comma 52 i have taken these points from an example in internet which was given and let's say we take the point as this one as well you can take any points of your choice and you can play with it in order to understand the topic better okay so i have taken four points on the input image and let me take four points on the output image as well so the first point is 0 comma 0 the second point should be this one then 0 comma 300 and then 300 comma 300 okay so let's say these four are our input image points and these four are our corresponding output image points so we have defined the transformation and we need our transformation matrix so we will form the transformation matrix using cv2 dot get perspective transform perspective transform okay and the input parameters will be our input image points and then our output image points and then i will save the new image matrix using cv2 dot warp perspective so this warp perspective is a function inside cv2 which will do this transformation for me 
and I will give the original input image matrix as IMG and will give the transformation matrix and they both will be operated upon maybe uh, the most prominent operation is the multiplication and then I will give the original no I am not giving the original let me give the resolution you can give any any re resolution let me give it columns comma rows so that it preserves the original resolution and then I will plot plt dot subplot one to one it will take a single frame and will divide it into two parts and will take the first part okay so this is what one to one means and then plt dot I am show image okay and the next thing which it will do is it will take the title so let me give it as input okay and we will do the same thing for the output as well take a single frame divide it into two parts and this time select the second part because we have already selected the first part now plt dot I am show the new image which we have created and give it a title as output okay and then at last just show whatever has been plotted so I hope this uh, this is our complete code and let me run perspective.py so this is giving an invalid syntax in line number 8 np.float32 in line number 8 what is the invalid syntax okay here I missed a bracket actually now it should run yes it has run and you can see that this was our original image and this is our output image the output image seems something like a 3d transformation as well as a rotation these all are combined as I had shown you in this in this theory part you can crop a oblique 3d region and convert it into a rectangular region this is a very prominent application of the perspective transformation okay this image is not showing it correctly this is not very useful in this image okay but whatever I said on the theory part is very useful okay so I hope I was able to make you understand perspective transformation if you have any type of problem then please comment below or you can even comment the suggestions on the next videos which you want to see if this was helpful then please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more programming videos thank you